everybody, welcome to the first episode of Combined Arms. This is gonna be my Horizon Wars um, six to 15 mil scale uh, game. Uh, now if you haven't watched the Let's Play on Horizon Wars, you can click a link in the video description below and watch me and Jan here walk through our first game. Now we did get stuff wrong, we always get stuff wrong in Let's Plays, um, but we're gonna play around two now, having used everything we've learned uh, to pit two forces, hypothetical forces against each other. It's gonna be the Gundam Wing, that's right, yeah, the, uh, the Grimoire. The Grimoire, all right, it's gonna be the Grimoire fighting against the Zentradi from Robotech. Now, I was really close to calling this series the Robotech Chronicles. Roby, when you watch this, I hope that makes you laugh. It was almost the Robotech Chronicles. There was a really strong debate about calling it the Robotech Chronicles or not. Um, but if you haven't watched the, the, the Let's Play, it's got my Robotech Zentradi against my Robotech U, uh, UEDF, the United Earth Defense Force. Um, and that's the models I'll be using for this. I'll be using different themed Robotech stuff because it's just fun and I love picking a theme for the games that I do. Uh, so now today we're gonna be playing The Rescue, which is another set piece mission. There's two kinds of missions in Horizon Wars. If you want to overview the game rules, you should check out the Let's Play though, because that's going to give you more in depth about the game itself. We're just going to jump right in and go. Um, we're playing 12 presents, uh, once again on a 4x4 table, uh, and we're going to walk you through the missions. The idea behind this mission is, the Zentradi have downed or injured two units from the uh, human army, and they're going to get rescued by some huge murder mechs. Um, they can start hidden, I have to try and hunt them down with my advanced scouts. We both have reinforcements coming on. Uh, and the goal for you is to get your downed, injured units off the table. Uh, the goal for me is to try and kill them. So we'll walk you through the mission, show you the table and our uh, starting forces, and we'll get started. So here's my defending and hunter-killing force. This is my um, advanced force, which will be starting on the table. And this is my reserve force over here. So in my advanced force, I have three tactical battle pods. One, two, three, they're all identical. Presence two, um, firepower four, movement four, armor and agility three, and defense two. And they'll have assisted targeting, so they can reroll one firepower dice per turn. And my reconnaissance battle pod, so presence one mech, um, it has movement four, firepower one, uh, armor three, defense three, and it's got Command HQ and Jump Jets. So Command HQ is cool, it can use guided fire, so we can call in artillery. Uh, jump Jets lets it ignore things up to its height when it moves, as long as it does a um, fast move, a triple move, in a straight line. And then CHQ also lets it spend an action to give someone who hasn't activated yet a free action, which is super cool too, because you can use his intel basically um, to coordinate and make people better at doing things. So they're a useful scout team to try and find the hidden deployed um, dudes that are trying to be rescued by the humans. And then we got my officer battle pod. It's a presence three, movement four, firepower five, armor three, defense two. Also assist targeting, it's a squadron commander. So we can pull guys in three of it into the same action, which is amazing for alpha striking. And it is extended range short, so it reduces all ranges and target numbers by six um, if it's uh, long and far away from things. And I have a heavy artillery battle pod, presence two, movement three, firepower four, armor agility three, defense two, and has extended range medium, so minus 12 from all its ranges. And that's to represent the fact that it's got big, huge cruise missiles. So there's my 12 presence worth of dudes for the Zentradi. So here is Jan's 12 points of humans, um, the Gundam Defense Force. Now he, he's using the cards exactly as I intended them to be. So he just filled them in basically handwritten and then he can do dry erase to do damage and stuff. So what do we got? We have uh, the ones that are going to be rescued. Yep, so this is the we advanced force. The uh, a light infantry with uh, with uh, three movement, three firepower, one armor, four defense, yep. standard. Dig in alert infantry, yes. so all the usual infantry rolls. Uh, we have a heavy infantry. Uh, from uh, this is from Drop Zone Commander. Yeah, the guys. So uh, uh, heavier guys. They're a lot more uh, harder to hit because uh, armor and agility and defense is uh, higher. Yeah, and they're yes. also infantry, so they can dig in. So armor three and defense three is pretty huge for an infantry squad, and they're also two P. So now these guys are going to start hidden deployed, which means they'll have four counters on the table. If I contact a counter by charging it, um, Jan can either reveal the element to be that counter next to that counter. Or he can reveal it to be one of the other counters on the table, but it means there's a shell game going on, and he can reset the shells every single turn until I find them all. Now, what's in the uh, <coughs> the reserve group? The there's stuff coming back. What do we got? The reserve group, we will have the heavy cavalry, a standard tank. So three presents. Yes, yep. three presents. And uh, we'll have the... Um, the super mech, oh, which is the Grim Warrior. Super mech. Uh, yeah, he's a six presence. Uh, he had a, I think, a distribution of twenty six points to give away. <laughs> so I gave him uh, five movement, seven firepower, six armor, five defense. 
I gave him a short um, extended range, extended yeah. range and agile. Oh, agile, it's terrifying. Um, and that means that we have a absolutely terrifying murder mech coming to the rescue here, trying to get these guys back. This is pretty neat. The uh, the cavalry's gonna arrive. None of this stuff can arrive before turn two, uh, but it does mean that I gotta I gotta find these guys and kill them before this murder thing shows up and starts killing all my guys. So no loss. We actually forgot about loss in our first game. It's just so funny when we play these games more than once, we realize the things we do wrong. Um, we're doing Patrol Plus, so 4x4 four four table, 12 points. Um, advanced, so he has to have a maximum of three guys as his advanced force. I have a maximum of seven. We've already sort of laid that out. And then a, a maximum of 11. It can include aircraft in reserve, and seven in reserve for me as the defender. Um, so I'm the hunter killers. Attacker in half and defend half is just half the board. Um, just like in pretty much every game, you actually set up scenery after you pick your forces and stuff. So scenery happens. Um, the attacker picks a half and deploys uh, fully in that half. The defender is given the opposite half and deploys fully in that half. The attacker may then place and define all the terrain in the attacker's half. Me on this half is the defender and you on the half of the attacker. You get to place all the terrain in my half and then I get to place all the terrain in your half. Okay. So our train is now placed and defined. Uh, ruined buildings, intact buildings, impassable, impregnable terrain for everything else. Um, and then most every other thing open. Uh, now, what's interesting is, this is the defender stuff. So this is technically my half of the table and my reserves will come on this side. He's gonna place his hidden deployed units in my half. And then I'm gonna place my attacking units, the people searching for him, in his half. So our reserves are actually gonna show up near each other's forces while the axis of the table is basically flipped. So you get four hidden counters because you have, it's exactly like deep deployment and you have two units. So you get to place them anywhere you want in this half of the board. So the hidden units have all deployed their hidden markers. Now it's a funny thing that Jan has to do here because I get to deploy anywhere in this half and as soon as I charge a marker, either it becomes one of his reserve units or I become, or sorry, or I turn into, um, uh, uh, it turns, the one I charge turns into it. So he doesn't want to have him too close to the center, even though he's trying to get off this board edge because I can just whip over here and charge. Uh, now it is like a deployment, so he is going to be able to move these hidden markers next turn, basically, anywhere in this half. So he can relocate them anywhere they could be deployed normally, uh, and they can keep moving around. So if I go after one, at the start of the next turn, it could just disappear and go somewhere else. And when counters go away, counters are gone. So it's, it's a shell game almost every turn. So I deployed my hunters. I've got my reconnaissance pod and then one, two, three battle pods. Now I gotta watch this table edge too because the reserves that Jan has are gonna come over. That super mech's gonna walk on this side at some point and that's gonna be terrifying. So I'm kind of trying to face both ways here with all my mechs um, as I get ready for the first turn. Worth noting now as well that all of the hidden units, so the infantry unit and also the heavy cav unit, they take four damage before they're deployed and that damage has to be used to reduce their movement to one. So they're gonna spend a turn when they show up probably trying to heal up some movement damage and they can't just fly off the table in the first turn. So we're deployed now and that means we're gonna roll for initiative. Whoever rolls higher is gonna get back to the first model. It's gonna be me. Victory conditions are pretty simple here. Um, the hidden units here, the rescuers, are either trying to get off the board and Jane gets a point for each one that leaves the table or be destroyed by me. And if I destroy one, I get a point. So basically if I kill one, he gets one off, it's a draw and a game ends when there's none left on the table. So I'm hunting them down, and if he can get them off his boardage over here, then that will be his getting them as a victory point. If I can destroy them, it'll be me getting them as a victory point. I think this is the best thing to do here. I'm gonna use my first action on my reconnaissance battle pod to actually get him to do an action, and he's going to make a uh, fast move. So he basically moves three times, so he can move 12, so eight and then four more without spending any actions. That's gonna put him over here. Use his second action to move again. So he's going to go with a fast move over to here. Are you? So now you can't have any reserve units on the first turn, I don't think. You can choose to reveal one of these tokens or not because hidden deployed troops do not have to activate. It's up to you. I think we'll continue hiding. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to activate this battle pod. He's gonna charge this token. Would you like to have that be something or reveal a different one? It will be... Mm, so me. he's already gone. Yeah. And I have no reserves this turn. But uh, these two over he, here he, have he, not gone yet. He, he it'll... Uh, let's so this one's going to be fake and we're going to reveal which of your units. The infantry squad. Oh, the P1 mm. infantry are going to be revealed to be over here. Second action now. And I will use that second action to make a... Fast move. I'm going to go 
five, six, seven, eight, and then four more to here. You can act if you'd like. These guys, whoops, have one action left because they've arrived. So they're gonna make a rapid move, not try and dig in a heel and just go three inches because they're currently movement one. So heading three over to here towards the less dangerous firepower one recon drone. Next activation, we are going to activate this fellow. He's just gonna make a patrol move because there's no sense in not making a patrol move. Whoop, down to one. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna charge this thing. Whoop. Mm -hmm. So that can either become a heavy battle tank or this over here can become a heavy battle if tank. If he charges, then well, this is being revealed to not be the hidden deployment, and we will show up over here with him. It's over to you. I have one remaining mech, and you have your heavy infantry. Uh, okay, he's gonna make a move that way. Yeah. So moving a slightly different direction. Yeah. There you go. Not reaction fire at you. Out of my arc, so I have to move. So I'm just gonna make a patrol move towards you, moving fire. Whoop. First action, so I'll be firepower two right now to mm -hmm. shoot you. Four and a half inches away, so five. Your armor defense three, so eight. Nice. Target number eight. Uh, ten and a five. I'm not going to bother rerolling for assisted fire. Defense two. Yes. Cranks the ten out, and I miss. Light up again. Ooh, this nice. is looking for eight. Uh, well, it adds up to. I'm going to reroll this one because it's terrible, and it's become a two. I'm slightly better, I guess. Over to you. Uh, well, you no longer get rid of, uh, get rid of the four. Yeah. So I needed eights, which means a two and a seven will make one, so one damage. Firepower two. Turn one, everything is now activated. We're gonna go on to turn two, place our activation counters, and get started. My reserve counters, I get two reserves. Both my reserves are gonna come in. Big boy gets a reserve counter, and we're rolling right now for initiative to see who's going first. This is a big turn. I got a 10, you get a, in the box, seven, so I'm going first. All right, we're gonna activate him. Um, and he's gonna do what he does, first action. He's gonna put an action on him to have him fire into your infantry. This is fire, I think we're about six inches away. Yeah, five and change. Uh, your defense is? Three. That's right, your assault, your, your oh, wait. Uh, armor wait. slash one. is one, that's right. So it's gonna be seven target number. Yep. I'll reroll that with assisted fire. It's gonna be three hits, unless you can cancel some of these. Defense of? Three, uh, defense three. Yep. Get rid of the three, the four, so the four's gone. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be two hits. Yeah. Firepower to zero, because he's just not worried about shooting. Action, uh, I don't want big scary murder mech to kill me, so I'm going to rapid uh, six and, sorry, eight and a bunch over to here. Mm -hmm. Me for my first action, what would you like to do? First action here, he's gonna do a recover roll. Yes. So your current damage track is six, six so you get your presence in dice, and yep. each one that's six or higher wow. is a heal. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, we no. should just stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't heal, they didn't dig in, so we're just gonna start as mean to carry on. Yes. And put an action here and try and blast them on four dice. So again, I need eights. Uh, it's gonna be three. I'm gonna go for it with a reroll because there's nothing to lose. Nope. Nines, and tens, and fours. You kill the nine. Mm. Uh, you don't kill the force. It's gonna be two hits though. Yep. Fence one, but it's still alive. Yep. Final action, we're just gonna do it again. Keep spraying and praying. Let's see what we get. Needing eights, reroll the two. Uh, it's three. If you uh, don't cancel some and you're only defense one now. I have one, two, I have three. Kay. I have to defend. We have one, you have one defense right now, right? Yes. So you're only rolling one dice. There you go. So <laughs> I need to block one. Yeah, you need to block one of these at least, or you're going to be dead. Eight will not do no. it, and he's toast. Wow. So we vaporized the light infantry. It's one VP for the Zentradi. It's over to you. Super murder mech arrives, and he's going to try and giant super murder mech me. So he gets four dice moving and shooting, so you might as well. You're moving five. Moving ten. So ten inches he gets to move <laughs> while shooting, because he's enormous. Okay, so... Ten's going to be right here. Whoop, away from my little buddy. <laughs> All right, so check your range. So minus six to uh, the maximum range, so he needs nines. With my armor agility of three, that's going to be 12. So dice is still four dice. Rut row. Okay, well, I'm defense two. Let's see if I can drop some of these. Uh, none? Oh. So you're gonna hit me twice. Right, well we've been we're made limpy. So we need to try and finish this guy off and or deal with Mega Mech. Mega Mech is looking frightening. Nothing was facing it, which was a mistake, so I couldn't reaction fire against it. But if I kill this, I win. So let's just keep your eye on the prize here, Ash. We're just gonna try and gun this guy down. So I've got a firepower of four. Mm -hmm. I am effectively Looks like five plus your defense of three. three. So eights is what yeah. I need here. Let's see if I get some eights. Target number eight. Gonna reroll this four. Uh, still a four. So see if you can cancel. I get three hits so far. Defense two. 
Oh, sorry. That's okay. Uh, it was still a no. 10, so it didn't do anything. It's going to be three hits, yeah, because that was a nine. I was down to zero, defense is down to one. That was my first action. Action the second, we're going to do it again. Hitting on eights. Uh, Reroll the three. That's going to be two. Two. See if you can cancel anything. Wow. Nope. So two more damage. Armor defense goes to zero. Putting twice, you can move six inches. Six yep. Six total. Run, forest. A little bit this way. All right, I've got you left. So you are going to be... I gotta deal with this mech. It's gonna charge me and just murder me. It's gonna be so bad. So I'm gonna spin around and make a patrol move. Eight. Try and get into some cover. Whoop. Shoot him. Um, he's got light covers for plus one and then whatever the range is. Grimoire here. 16, so 17. And then what's your armor agility? Six. <laughs> so 22 with two dice? Well, if I roll double 11s. That's not gonna do it. I can reroll this though. Still don't matter. Nope. <laughs> Um, and then I can try it again on full dice, which I will. Come on, 22! Oh, there you go. Well, it adds up to 22. Yep, see if you can cancel any. What's your defense? Defense is five. Crazy bananas. Five dice. Oh, yeah. That's okay. It was a 10. Um, so you cancel the 110. Whoop. Yeah. And then sixes and fours. You cancel the four. Yep. Yeah. And that's only 21, so I don't do any damage. <laughs> I think it's almost invincible and hard to destroy. Let's see if you can rescue his little robot buddy. Observe unit. Mr. Artillery Bot's gonna land right here. This first action, and the second action, he's gonna try and shoot that guy. So, effective range is 40, plus six for your crazy armor and agility, plus your agile, I keep needing to remember, so I roll one oh, less yeah. dice against you. Um, but I'm minus 12 from that. So 46 minus 12 is 34. Yes. I have to hit on, super sweet. All right, so 34, <laughs> and I get three dice, because you're agile. Let's do it. That is not a hit. Boss monster, show up over here. First action in reserve. Second action, he's gonna do a cruise attack. So he's gonna go eight up to here. Whoop. Nine inches away, plus your defense, is, so your armor agility two. is two. That's 11. Zero defense. Um, minus six for my enhanced range, Ooh. so I need fives. This is three, needing fives. Two, you got any defense dice? None. Take two damage, you got zero movement left, and one armor and agility. It's gonna be turn, looks like we are up to turn three. You can place a reserve unit, all my reserves are on the table. Roll, let's see who's going first. Oh, you needed that. Grimoire's going, it's gonna make a rapid, so first rapid action, so you can go 15. So he's gonna end up right there. -ish. Yeah, because he's got way, way more than enough to get around it. Uh, and then he's gonna charge. Yep. Oh man, X gonna give it to you. Counter charging? Yep. <laughs> um, I'm actually, sorry, before you do that, I can you end your first action here. Yeah. I'm actually going to shoot you with both these guys. Action fire. Um, I've got big boss pod. He is going to be nine, so 15 with your armor and agility. Yeah. Um, and then minus six is nines again because mm -hmm. I'm minus six for the range mods. Um, I'm dice five minus one for your agile to four. Yep. So I need nines. Four dice. Uh, assisted fire. I'm going to one of those. That was terrible. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Okay, so I get one hit. You can see if you can cancel anything with your million defense dice. Yes. You drop a five, you drop another five, and I no longer have nine. And shoot with him now. So he's got three dice. He's two inches away, plus six is eight. So we need eights. Assisted fire. I might as well try for it. Get it. So I get three hits if you don't cancel any. You need eights and tens. Uh, you kill the 10, but you take two hits. Right. He's going down to five, and defense is going down to, sorry, movement's going down to four. Yeah. And second action, you said you're gonna charge, charge him? Yes. Whoa, stop an inch away, I have no counter charge. Yeah. Already reacted, and in you go. Right. So you get six dice, because you're P6. Mm -hmm. I get two dice for being P2. I get a six. You get a 12. Mm. So, yeah, you take three damage. Yeah. Um, you actually get a 13, because you yeah. moved this round. I take seven damage. I drop my movement to one, my firepower to one, my defense to zero, and my armor and agility to two, and I get pushed back one because I lost. Let's try and kill this little dude. Um, it's really my only option here to try and win the game because this mech is just going to keep murdering me otherwise, and I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm going to do that in a funny way. So I'm actually going to activate this fella. He's going to spend his first action to order the officer pod, hilariously, to shoot. So I'm within nine again. Mm -hmm. Sorry, ten again, rather. And your armor defense is... One. One, so 11 minus six is fives I need here. Uh, and I've got five dice. 
Any defense? He's toast. He's pasted. All right. <laughs> and that's going to be game. Managing to drop the heavy infantry. That gives me two points to your none. And game's over. All right, so there you go. Game two of Horizon Wars for both of us. We both learned a whole bunch. It was interesting to see the giant super mech on the table, but the mission kills. Like, thinking about it in hindsight, what would you rather have? A 6P mech I, or three more stands of 2P infantry? I would really not even have a... I would probably have... I would rather have a jump infantry yep. just dropping from the sky so that they're in support almost immediately. Or a transport helicopter. Or a transport helicopter. <laughs> yeah, that's something pretty that's good. airplanes will start coming in soon, right? Yeah, like, you know. when you just go Black Ark down, you fly on, you pick up some infantry, you fly away. Yeah. That would have been like a completely different game. Um, it's so interesting to play this game and now look through the missions, especially the set piece battles, and think about what we would take. I was just talking about how I want to add infantry to the Zentradi, but I'm going to have to find, because the Zentradi in, in Robotech are like twice the size of a human, they're huge. But I'm gonna have to find some 20 mil, like 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 sort of space looking yeah, guys, yeah. and every one of my because that's all I'll do is my infantry will just be a guy out of the, <laughs> the power armor, and some of the multi base stuff like the humans do, it'll just be one dude with a rifle, yeah, <laughs> which would be awesome. <laughs> so so I I'm already thinking of creative ways I can get around this stuff mm. um, to try and add some different layers of stuff. There is a neural fighter that was planned for Robotech Tactics, but I don't think I'm ever gonna see it. So I don't know if and when I'll add a fighter to this army, but. Um, certainly, I could maybe do the recovery pod as a transport too, because I do have a recovery pod. Um, and then I think for some conventional forces, just painting 20 mil like Zentradi yeah. out of their suits <laughs> um, would be perfect. I could yeah. just do that. And then, um, yeah. and then for you, instead of super mechs, maybe just more tanks, more yeah. heavy infantry. Yeah. And you've got you've got planes too from that yes, um, yes, drop zone stuff, yes, don't you? I did. Yeah. Actually, I, I converted into a plane because I thought it would look cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta say too, if you guys didn't notice on camera. All of Jan's tanks are mounted on clear crystal beads, which makes them look like they're floating on like an energy cloud. Yeah, it yeah. is such a slick yeah. idea. I'd never seen anybody do that before. But yeah, those clear beads that like people use for like magic counters for like yeah. life or whatever. Yeah. He's got all of his floating tanks mounted on them, and they look super slick. Um, what else did we talk about? I think this was a good example of. Yeah, the mission being more important than the yes. super stuff. Yeah. You did see just how dangerous that super mech was. Yeah. Like, it almost, it, it's almost impossible to one round something in this game. It almost one rounded one of my, my mechs. Yeah, running a, a charging a charging super mech at six presence is a... Uh, it's a lot of damage. Yeah, did seven damage in one go. <laughs> and then like just laughed off three damage and was fine. Um, I couldn't hurt it. Like at all, like I, no. I scratched it once at point blank range and for the rest of it, it just laughed off all the damage I had to do to it. So they do feel like super mechs. If you guys want to try playing with a super mech, they feel exactly like you think they would feel. They just walk on the other mechs and they're like, whatever, dead, dead. <laughs> Start knocking them out of the way. Um, but it, but because it couldn't be everywhere and yes. only had two actions per yes. turn, that seemed to be the thing that, that almost made it balanced, yeah. right? It could, yeah. it, it's the problem of just being one guy, right? You can't be everywhere, you can't complete the mission by yourself. So he almost was able to defend that guy, but then I got a lucky shot off and I managed to kill him. Um, and I think that's, I, I think that's probably the, the reason that it's okay to be able to take something like that in this game. Because it's not necessarily gonna win you the game by itself. It's a fun theme thing, in a bigger game it might be really oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, totally. But like in a 12P game, I think having half your P in one mech yeah. is, Rough. Well, I think I think if we did the original mission, yep. first one, I think it, it would be a little bit different. Oh yeah. Yeah. We well, no, no, no. But you'd have four elements, and I'd be getting trying to get you down to two elements. I would just pick oh, off the yeah, two you're elements. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. So I think even even then, yeah, right? Because it wasn't right. based on like how many presents you had on the table. It was the amount. Of, it was the model count. That's right. right. Yeah, but yeah. but starting at the starting at the end of turn two, if I if he wasn't the only model left on the table, you'd win. No, that's true. Yeah, because right. you, if you had eight presents left on the table, the game would just be over, and he's six by himself. And I'm not going to make him ineffective, so I have to make all three other units ineffective <laughs> before the end of the second turn, or you'd yeah. win. Yeah. So it's I think it's about teching out and trying to figure out what your win triggers are and what your win conditions are. Yep. That's really interesting in this game because I I think I feel like you can still approach this game with like this is my army is what I like to take. Yes. But then every mission, especially the set piece battles, feel like it's a puzzle you have to figure out. Yeah. I have these pieces to do this job. Yes. How am I going to try and do that? And so far, I'm really enjoying that. It's also any game where I, right after I play it, I want to paint other things and I have ideas yeah. to try and do <laughs> yeah. stuff is usually a good yes. sign too. Yes. Um, so Jan and I are probably going to play another game in a few weeks. So yep. um, we'll see you for more Horizon Wars in the future. Until I'm Ash, this is Jane. Happy working.